Hey guys, what's up? Great news. My school was um, it's canceled again. I was at work actually, um, and was I work at my school? And the power went out, not just uh, on the campus, but also on all the nearby stores, in the mall and things like that. So they're sending us home, which is great. So I figured, hey, I'm gonna go home and you know catch up on homework and things like that. Probably make some videos for y'all, starting with this one. All right, so I'm doing a series on. Um, I said I made a video about macros, and um, people wanted to know uh, the breakdown because I try to like summarize everything about protein, carbs, fat. And, it, and their importance and how much you should eat every day and uh, I got a lot of comments saying that they wanted me to break it down so I did one for protein I don't know if I uploaded that one yet um, and this one is on carbs and I might do one on fat later on to another day but carbs for carbs I'm gonna for protein I just generalized it because protein is the same for everybody right the same requirements well about the same requirements whether you skinny big or fat whatever but carbs that's where it gets tricky what the hell carbs is working like even the lights are not working Carbs where it gets tricky because it depends on your, how much you need and what kind of carbs you should eat depends on your body type, right? I'm gonna start with skinny, uh, ectomorph, mesomorph, and endomorph, right? Skinny, perfect genetics, and then fat. And then I might even go into my, my body type, which is um, ecto, endomorph, skinny, fat. Um, all right, if you're skinny, obviously, from, from what I, I'm not a nutritionist guy, I'm not an expert, I'm not a guru. I just go based on observation, based on personal experience. And that's more than enough to for you to draw out what you think could help you. And what if you think is garbage? If I'm saying anything that you think is trash, just throw it out, guys. I don't I don't shove my shit down people's throats, man. I'm not, I'm, you know, it's not a religion. It's opinions. Hi, grandma and grandpa. Uh, so if you're skinny, if you're an actor, from, from what I've noticed, from my friends who are very, very skinny, I realize they react very, very good to like increasing in carbs like ridiculously. Like my, all my skinny friends, Manny, Matt, uh, um, what's, this other, what's the other guy's name? Um, fucking Seth. All these guys, all these guys, even Eric, not, not my uncle Eric, my other friend Eric. Um, when they increase their carbs to like 400 grams sometimes per, per day, not every single day, but like, you know, like every other day, because like I said, you want to cycle your carbs. You don't want to eat 500 grams of carbs every fucking day. That's horrible um, in the long run. But when they did that, it started blowing up, right? And it tells you because when you're skinny, super, super skinny, these guys have a super fast metabolism, right? It's as if the moment they eat glucose, their body just, whoop, you know, like soaks it up. So they needed more carbs to gain mass because like I said, the metabolism was just too damn fast. Meaning if, you're, if your body eats up your carbs like crazy, now you're running out of energy, your body's gonna use your protein. It's gonna be hard for you to, you know, to put on a lot of mass. That's why they always lean no matter what they eat. You guys know what I'm talking about. There's a lot of skinny people that, that eat whatever the fuck they want and still don't, don't put on weight. That's why I don't believe in uh, calories, right? You know, you know, just um, you want to get big, just eat 3,000 calories, 2,000 calories, whatever. It doesn't work for everybody because some people eat 4,000 calories a day and are still skinny. If you think I'm lying, ask my skinny friends, man. I've seen these guys with my own eyes, even before I started bodybuilding. Uh, uh, you know, they should eat, I mean, all fucking day. I mean, ice cream, Chinese food, all that shit. And they were lean and skinny. Manny is one, of, one example. And then I have some other friends who just eat like a burger at McDonald's and shit and then Chinese food at night which is like not even, you know, 3,000 calories and kept getting fat their whole lives. So, so your body, your genetics play a big part in nutrition. That's why you can't just say, how many calories should I eat, right? Go based on macronutrients, go, go based on the principles. So anyway, back to carbs. So if you're skinny, you could eat a lot of carbs and not, you know, not gain too much fat. You know, a, a, a shitload of carbs. You know, Matt, for example, went from 115 to 135 eating a shitload of carbs, you know. And I have the videos to prove, guys, you know, when, when, when Matt started his bulk. And now he's still fairly lean. He gained 20 pounds and he's still fairly lean. Uh, if, if I eat 400 grams of carbs a day, oh my God. You know, regardless of, uh, of, of my caloric intake, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be fat. You know, my body just, every time I eat carbs, I get fat, I don't know why. Uh, so it depends on your body. But if you're skinny, you can eat a lot of carbs. In fact, you have to eat a lot of carbs to compensate for the fat metabolism so that you spare your protein from being broken down. If you're a mesomorph, it doesn't really give a fuck. It doesn't really matter what you do because you have like the perfect genetics for bodybuilding. And I had a friend called Toby, who's a mesomorph, amazing genetics for bodybuilding. He could eat whatever the fuck he wants, or he could even go a whole week of eating just shit, or not even eating, and he wants to stay fairly full and lean. That's once again, that's genetics. Uh, so if you're a mess up, I would say just eat enough to fuel your workouts. Remember, carbs are only for energy, guys. They help prevent muscle breakdown because if your body's using carbs for energy, you're not breaking down, you know, protein and also not too much fat, which is the downside. But I'm going to get to that um, later. So, a mess them off, eat your carbs when you need them. The, on, the, on the nights before your workout, eat a shitload of carbs so that overnight, uh, 
past time, and I say fast carbs because really what you want is to fill your glycogen store so that when you go train, your body will use a lot of your glycogen. Uh, and if you fat, if you an endomorph, I would say, man, <laughs> carbs are your number one enemy. If you endomorph or you ecto endomorph, be careful about your carbs, man. You want your body to use fat for energy. And a lot of people say, well, if you're an endomorph, just eat slow digesting carbs and all that shit. The reason why I don't believe in that too is because even if you eat slow digesting carbs, you still have carbs being released into your, your blood your bloodstream at a slow pace. Meaning your body's still gonna use that for energy. You don't want that when you fat. When you fat, what do you wanna use for energy? Fat. You want your body to use fat for energy. So why would you wanna give your body another energy source? You know, knowing that when you have carbs, your body uses carbs instead of too much fat. So obviously you wanna, you know, I don't wanna say low carb because you still need carbs, but you wanna make sure you're really cycling your carbs if you're an endomorph or active endomorph. You wanna make sure you're eating probably carbs maybe like every other day or every three days or so, so that your body's using fat when you work out. Also, if you're cutting down on your carbs, you obviously want to increase your what? Your protein and your healthy fats. And people say, oh my God, what are you saying? How would you increase your fats if you're fat? Well, your fats are needed for your hormone balance. Your fats are also needed for, the, if you give your body a lot of fat, your body will use fat for energy. So you want to use fats to meet, to meet your, not only your energy requirements, because you're cutting down on your carbs, but uh, also for your hormones. Um, so yeah, act them off. You can eat a shitload of carbs, mess them off. You don't want to get too fat, just cycle your carbs. And the morph, you want to super cycle your carbs, right? I don't don't go on a low carb diet. Just cycle your carbs so that when you do introduce them, if you go three days without carbs and you introduce them into your, when I say without carbs, I'm not talking about vegetables and shit like that. I'm talking about like grains and stuff like that. So that you want to go three days without it, so that when you introduce it, your body doesn't store it as fat immediately, right? It's gonna replenish your glycogen stores and, and things like that. And that's what I've seen works with my body and my friends, right? Like I said, I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not an expert. If you disagree with me, that's fine. You know, fuck you, motherfucker. I'm just joking. No, I'm not joking. Fuck you if you disagree with me. But uh, it's fine. It's fine, guys. Uh, just I'm just telling you guys what worked for me and my friends because we didn't have experts to go and ask. So we had to look at, you know, trial and error, trial and error, and observations. Like I said, my skinny friends, 400, 500 grams of carbs a day put the mass on them like crazy. My mesomorph friends, they just ate carbs whenever they needed it, right? And my and my endomorph friends, including myself, um, we had to really, really cycle our carbs, right? We we only eat them before workout so that the, the moment we train. It gets it gets burnt up, right? You know, if you're a fat person, you don't want to have full glycogen stores for more than two, three days because then the extra the excess energy is gonna be stored as fat. All right, guys, hope that helps, and I'm out of here.